Hey, 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 and welcome back to the channel. I'm Tasha, this is Tasha Pivots, where we talk about all things mamahood and homeschool and how I'm pivoting in this journey. And today I wanted to talk to you about survival mode. Hey you, if you're new here, I'm so glad that you've chosen to join me today. Grab you a cup of tea, we are gonna have a little chit chat, a little um, honest conversation about survival mode. So, yes, uh, it has been, whew, guys, it's been a hard year, duh, uh, but it's been a really, really hard second half of the year for me and my family, and I have been just trucking along behind the scenes, doing my thing, pushing, 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 and doing what I got to do, and, but God's been trying to get my attention um, a couple weeks ago, I got a warning. Um, I was pulled over and I was driving about 10 miles over the speed limit in a residential area where the speed limit is such an unrealistic number, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> I was driving too fast and it was a warning, but I... Uh, am a deep thinker and a reflector and I recognized immediately it wasn't God trying to tell me it wasn't just oh the cop is doing his job it was God trying to tell me to slow down and um I thought I took it and I was like okay and then two weeks later last weekend or last Friday I got in a car accident and it wasn't necessarily because of speeding. It was just, um, I'm okay. The person's okay. The cars are okay. But it just was me not paying attention. And so um, I noticed with my life that uh, whenever God is really trying to get my attention, uh, he starts with warnings, whether I recognize them or not. The first, actually, this is the first time I would say uh, out of my life, my adult life, that I have recognized the warning. <laughs> like I recognized I had a warning. Before it would just be like, Ugh, I can't believe this is happening to me. Um, but this time I recognized it immediately, but still didn't listen. And so, um, yeah, I got in an accident and I just, it shook me. It shook me to my core. I just had so much guilt and I had so much shame and frustration and anger and everything that I have been feeling for a while all kind of came to a screeching bam uh, <laughs> collision. And I recognize that me and my husband through our journey together that we've just been in survival mode. Um, and we've been in a really hard season this year, in the second half of the year. We started out just in such a good space. Um, in the beginning, it was more like God had prepared us for this season. We already had everything we needed. We were doing great. He was able to work from home. All the things seemed wonderful. And then the second half of the year hit and it hit hard. Um, and it didn't hit us in the sense that we didn't get sick, our health didn't get compromised, but it affected our employment. Um, uh, my husband's employment and so it's been it's been hard y'all but I first want to again say thank you to those who have been uh, supporting me and loving me through this channel and everything that I've been doing um, even with fervor uh, the unit study that came out last week I want you to understand that like if you've purchased this uh, the just know that your dollar the person on the other side of that dollar is my family that's how my family was is eating and um, we are staying afloat. So I just want to say thank you for that. Uh, those of you still thinking about getting it and maybe are like, my kids are not even old enough to use it yet. Hey, it'll be here for some time as long as it can be. And hopefully more projects will develop uh, from there. But even in that, those l last two weeks, I didn't sleep at all. I was just going and going and going and going and going and I just was in survival mode um, needing to meet a need uh, and wanting to be able to you know that it would be a, a need would be met on my end for my family and so I want y'all to know like yeah this is not um, this life this season has not been roses for me 
it has been refining me and I recognized after a conversation with some a group of moms, my mamas, uh, that I have been in a survival mode. I've been in a fl fight or flight mode. And I I, rec I recognized I was in a survival mode because me and my husband always say that like our whole lives, we've only been, we've been taught even from our parents and um, in the situations that we've been in that it's just like, we're just trying to get through the day or we're just trying to get through this year. And I don't want that for my children, neither does my husband. And so we work really hard to, that they won't see that, that they will know that yes, there, you know, there is um, an effort to be made on your end to do your best and to work hard, but not to the point of survival. And I want us to be able to have stability. And so I pray that that is, if it resonates with you, you know, I'm here, you're not alone. Um, but yeah, it's been a, it's been a difficult year and, and wanting to just support, um, you guys and, and wanting you guys to know that, you know, homeschooling is hard. Homeschooling is a, it's not a sacrifice. It's just a challenge <laughs> at times, but it is still doable. If you are a working mama and you're homeschooling, I'm with you. And, uh, and if you're a mama who had your kids in public school and you still, you know, you watch this video, these videos, you're seen and welcome here too. Uh, but yeah, I have just been going, 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 and God asked me to sit down. You know, he oftentimes is not asking me, I, in my mind, I like to control things and I like to have my hand on everything. And God's just like, I didn't ask you to do that. I didn't ask you to fight. I didn't ask you to flight. I didn't ask you to run. I asked you to lay it down. Lay it down at my feet and just really surrender the things that you are feeling and going through. Um, the things that you think that you need to have control over because I have my hand on your life. You are in the palm of my hand. And so I, I needed to remember that because I have just been, you know, in the mindset of like, okay, so we've got, we've got to adjust, we've got to adapt. We just, this is what we do. And outside of like all the other stuff that's going on in the world, gosh, I don't even have time. I don't like, it's not that I don't care. It's just that my kids eating, my kids having their education and me being able to do that in that moment is where I'm at. I don't have time to circle around who's, who's red, who's blue, uh, who's wearing a mask, who's not. Like, I don't, I don't care. Like, I, in a sense, I don't care at this present time. And so, like, I hope you guys can respect that and not be offended by it. But right now, it's just been really, you know, me just on, on, a, on a constant whirlwind until this past week. And so I had a lot of guilt and a lot of crying to the point where I can't open my eyes. It's been a long time since I cried like that, but... I thought it would be a disservice not to sit with y'all and have that conversation and be honest and, you know, and recognize that, like, there is no uh, picture perfect YouTuber or whatever it is that people like to to assume. Um, on the other side of the screen is still a human. I am still a mom, a wife, and I am still God's child just trying to make the best choices uh, and sometimes I don't always make the best choices, but I recognize that when God is asking me to sit down and I'm walking through a wilderness that I need to really be dependent on him. And I think that I haven't been as dependent as I'm supposed to be. I think I've been like, I'm driving the car. You can sit next to me. You can, you know, you can mess with the gears, but I still got my foot on the gas and I still got my hand on the wheel because I'm trying to control it and you know that's not what it is you know and so I really wanted to just come on and have a chit chat with you guys and and be honest about where I'm at uh I'm still going to be doing my videos three times a week because I do believe that there is a purpose and calling in that that's what God intended me to do and until he tells me to pull back on that <laughs> y'all still see me three times a week um and you know, I just want you to know that there is still joy even in the wilderness, that there is still grace within the wilderness. And I am 
finding that. I'm finding that I need to be able to lay down my guilt, my shame, my control so that I can actually receive the blessing of God's grace because I haven't been able to do that because I've just been, I was there and then things changed and I was like, what? And I almost like, in a sense, as I'm talking with you guys, it's like, okay, so yes, things changed, but I did it. That's what I hear God saying. You know, like life got harder, yes, but you were still supposed to what? Lean on me, like believe and trust in me. And that's why I had chosen that word for our family, that the word would be trust. Um, and I think, you know, with life and being a human, you get knocked up and all over the place and then you don't realize that you didn't you 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 stop doing what you said you were going to do and so I am just here to say that yes uh, the next couple of weeks I am just going to be diving head first in what God would have me to be doing um, and continue serving and loving others as much as I can um, but really just opening up my heart to receive what it is that God has for me in this season and um and and recognizing what is it he's building me up for what is he trying to fine tune in me what is he trying to prune away in me and so yeah <laughs> it has been a minute but I am I am glad to have you guys on here and um I thank you for sitting with me today if you like this video, if you were inspired or encouraged or you were just, you felt it, uh, give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that you heard, you hear it. And, um, you know, if you have any comments or you have anything that you want to share, you need prayer. I am always here. Please put that in the comments below. Put it, you know, email me. My email's in there. And um, I'm hoping that I will also be doing my spoonful of hope each week uh, blog post. So check those out over at TashaPivots.com. And until next time, you guys be kind, stay strong, and know that, you know, God is the peace uh, that surpasses all understanding. And so that's all I wanted to say. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a wonderful day. Mm, bye.